fucking know. Shut up. You not, don't have to touch me all the time. You need to touch me. You don't have to touch me. Can I touch that? No, you can't touch that. I want to touch that. No, you can't. Listen. Fuck off. I'm going to take a nearest. It's, it's coming out. You don't need to kiss you on the winky. No, you do not kiss my nipple winky. You can sniff half the winky. Good. That's it. I'm ready to go. Well, shit, they are good. They fucking can't fucking hear this. In the intro, then. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Wanker, wanker, wanker. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Eli Silverman here, and you are at Cheap Show Live! With Paul Gardens in it, too. It's all <laughs> So let's go cock a bonkers crazy and hit the theme tune. <laughs> Hate you and your fucking movie posse. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking or cut down, and also you always do this whenever you've got a live show, and then you overexert yourself, <laughs> and then you half die. Well, I'll just carry on. I'll just do it. Yeah, you do the show. Sure. So, uh, Paul's a bit of a twenty, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm concerned about his health. Look, you can't. You can actually. Do we need medical? <laughs> I've got my inhaler, but it's in that bag. Well, fuck it. Oh. It's fine. If I die, think of the press we'll get. Wanker dies on stage doing shit below par podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Only he had his asthma inhaler, said Eli. A cunt. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, we got. Who, who reckons they're the furthest to travel for this show? I know what the answer is. Hello, stand up, you now. <laughs> Her name's Sh Shana. 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 I thought it was Shania, like Twain. How you doing? Um, I'm terrified. Why? Are, are you enjoying London? Yeah, but it's terrifying. <laughs> Overall feeling is terrifying there. Yes. Alright, well don't worry, you're in safe hands here. Do you want a message to give to everyone? No? Do you have any parting wisdom? Any Parting wisdom? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it's starting to spew nonsense. <laughs> She's not going, Paul. She is now! <laughs> Fuck's sake. Ah, oh, you came all this way for me to say, say and get going. Uh, and thank you so much for coming here today. I've got a little present for you, uh, later. Oh. That sounds good. No, no, that sounds fine, Paul. Sounds fine. A care package to full. Oh, yeah, that's brilliant. That's yeah, brilliant. you know what? That does sound fucking dodgy. <laughs> so. I'm okay with it. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm very ill. <laughs> Like you really do. Come on. And, and then we've got uh, uh what's her face? Rihanna. Brave over there. Rihanna. Rihanna. Hello, Rihanna. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Yourself? Yeah. <laughs> you know, same old shit. He's Different sweating. Day. I'm sweating. Do you want to do a tummy no, kiss? No, I do not want to do a tummy kiss. <laughs> tummy kiss. <laughs> 
honestly. We uh, always do a tummy kiss before a show. <laughs> and he won't do one now on our special 100th episode. Do it. Do it. See? <laughs> Give them what they want. Tummy kiss. Tummy kiss. Tummy kiss. I'm doing that stand-up thing, that yeah, stand-up thing. Do it, when they go, I'm nervous, so I'm just going to do this no, with the don't, microphone. Don't jack the mic stand. Uh, jack it. <laughs> uh, anyone else come further away than New York? New York. So we got New York. I'm Jimmy Biscuits from New York. Hey! Okay, get it out of the way now, right? Top of the show. How you doing? I'm, a, I'm from New York. I'm from the Bronx. How you, that's a proper place, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, I go to the Bronx. I, I go to the Bronx all the time too, because I go to Queens. Jimmy, Jimmy, yeah? Jimmy what's, that? what's your favourite like Danny style New York sandwich? Well, I like the pastrami oh, yeah. and I like gherkins. I like grits yeah. and gherkins. You like grits in the I sandwich? I got grits in my sandwich. I'm Jimmy Biscuits, I do what I want. Well, I'm not buying it. So there. Yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> In improv, there's something called yes and, and you're no fuck off. Yeah. So, that's good to know. Uh, so anyone else come from anywhere further than New York or some small island off the north of Scotland? Is it the Orkney swim? No, I love Sky. I love Sky. I like Sky too. Um, <laughs> it's a joke. I've got him. Fucking hell. So let, do the bit where you try and humiliate, humiliate me now. No, that's, 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 that's quite nice. literally below the belt. Right, no, you so, know. right here's what we haven't done in a while. Me and Eli, as we all want to do, describe ourselves in a very particular way. No, we um, don't describe it. I describe... And you describe me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got any parting shots? Yeah. <laughs> parting thoughts. Right, right you, do, you go first, then. Right, so um, a lot of people think they know about Paul, but a lot of people don't know that he actually spent several years as the world's premium uh, <laughs> seller this of... This is what happens when you don't prepare a seller for this show. And you think, oh, I don't fucking care! I'll win it! I'll win it! I'll do what I want! I'm a fucking genius! No! Eli in this fucking show. And I'll have you know, Paul, I did prepare this, I just forgot. <laughs> Which is better. I'm right? interested. When is the air noodle special you've been buying? A, 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 a... <laughs> Paul, you're too late. Because of your lack of uh, confidence in me on the noodle special, it's been sold to the ABC network <laughs> in America, okay? Fair enough. And it's a full show. Fair enough. And I, I get to, like, you know, I've got some this sort of pan cod piece. Combo thing going. <laughs> pan cod pieces. That means many it? cod pieces across time and space that pan It's a multi dimensional cod piece. Yes. Yes. So, what a lot of people don't know about Paul yeah. is that he was the world's premier seller of monkey gland and monkey gland extract products. And he had a whole monkey farm uh, down in um, Guatemala. Not a good place. Not a good place. Um, and the other thing they don't know is that you, this is true as well, Paul, you have extra. Uh, orifices, which are quilted with ermine fur. Don't you? <laughs> That's true. Just thought, you know, I thought that was all right. Actually. <laughs> Wait, sorry, is that it? Yeah. That's your intro to me. Yeah. Like, Monkey they... clan farmer. Ermine extra orifice. <laughs> well, well, come on, bring it out, whatever it is. He's a dwarf. Oh, the fucking little dwarf. What a little dwarf cunt. <laughs> Eli. Something along those lines? No, no, it's my turn to introduce yeah. you. Yeah. Now, Eli, you thought you were here today to do a cheap show. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, you're not. Because. <laughs> Eli Silver, this is your life! <laughs> Show, this is your life. What is his name? I'm Andrew. It's Amy Andrew here, diddly diddly. Hello there. And this is Eli Silverman. This is your life. Oh, God. <laughs> right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. 
born in 1957, Eli was found under a mushroom. People expected him to be a dead Papa Smurf. They were wrong. First words were, Carbara Cheddar. <laughs> But it was at the age of 10 that Eli found his true calling, wanking in, to, in a shed to pornography, which he did do. Um, but um, we have a few messages from around the world. Your sister, Emma and Jennifer, got in touch with me oh, yeah. of a few stories. Okay. Um, so they just wanted me to clarify some of these. They, so, they're sorry they couldn't be here today, okay. but Emma uh, and Jen did send me an email with a few things. So one, uh, Here's an interesting fact for you. Eli had a weird habit when he was young, uh, according to uh, Jen and Emma. He said he had a snot jar. <laughs> and they also go on to say he models figurines from these bogeys. That's, so, that's, that's just what they say. It's fucking untrue. Jenny's been peddling this crap for years. They say, I might have once had a little shelf with dry bones on it. <laughs> Any normal five-year-old. All they want is a confession and an explanation because they definitely. Well, there you go. It's a lie. I had no snot jar. I had a thing called my own. Listen. Yeah. I had this thing called FOMO, where I would take. The, I well, there's this copy, photocopy paper. Yeah. It used to come with like a backing paper, which was a pink plastic thing. I'm looking at Stuart like he knows about it. You know what? I mean? Right. And I used to put felt tip on that. And then get wet uh, cotton wool, rub it on that so the colour kind of went into the cotton wool, and then I put it in a jar, uh, screw the lid on, and make a little label for it, and it'd be like FOMO one or something. <laughs> so <laughs> next, next story. <laughs> Jar. It's an art project. I'm predating Damien Hurst by fucking 20 years, and all you can do is snot. It's all snot. All right, all... I've got another you know snot. I've got what? I have spunk jar. <laughs> anyway, that's the real. That's the sure. real. Yeah. Next story from Emma and Jen, uh, uh, your uh, sisters. Uh, skateboard, skateboard bad boy is the next story. <laughs> as a fashion statement and keeping up with the trends of the 80s, Eli cut the arms off a sweatshirt and used them as leg warmers. Yeah, that's <laughs> That's true. Yeah. yeah. Rock and roll. That's really hip hop, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what else? What next else? one. When on vacation in Florida, uh, they all decided to go to the beach. Eli went to get changed. He chose very short, black, shiny running shorts and a black vest. However, he was forced to change from this because his penis moose knuckle was on show. <laughs> Eli did not see an issue with this outfit. Was your knuckle on show? I can't even remember that at all. Yeah? No. Probably for the best. And my favourite story... Um, during a game of hide and seek, Eli hid for so long and didn't want to lose, he chose to shit himself instead of getting <laughs> fat. Again! Lies. Uh, they also sent a few other things as well. Oh no, no. Oh. So, uh, little family. Here's Eli. How old were you in this picture, Eli? Oh. Yeah, ah. Oh. Yeah. Adorable. Oh. Does it look like I've shat myself there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's one. It's lovely. All images will be on the website for this episode, thecheapshow.co.uk. Oh, Here's the right? next one. I like that's upside down, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> so my sister's wedding. I've look, got a, sexy look, boy. Fan, I've got a drink. Sexy boy. Look at him all dapper. But again, uh, my favourite one. <laughs> You're losing it, man. My favourite one. <laughs> Captain Handsome Face. <laughs> look at this. Oh, sexy boy. Sexy boy. Look at you. You've got a proper. Oh, I've got a frot on in that picture. <laughs> Oh, oh. I do not have a frot on. <laughs> oh, that is just so good. Oh, I'm so depressed. <laughs> Fuck off. Is this bit over now, Paul? Yeah. Uh, no, we've now got some audience testimonials. Do you remember this voice? Hello, Eli. Who, who's that? Do you remember that name from your professional past? 
No. Oh, who is it then, mystery voice? It's Mr. Biffo, your oh. special friend. Hello. <laughs> Stand up and tell us a lovely story about Eli. I've written it down, but I can't find it. I'm <laughs> making... no, 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 prepared! He, he, I was prepared. I'm the only one out of three of us, thank you very much, that actually wrote something. They're going to wing it. Yeah. OK, right, in short, I'll, I'll just do a quick summary. I feel you've gone on too long with this intro, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> So in short, it was a story about how Eli lived in the walls, my cavity walls in my extension. Um, and he, there was this whole thing in the story about how he had like, like, long matted hair. And when we smashed through into the, uh, the cavity walls, he sort of lifted up his front fur. Yeah. And there were like, these balloon things there which were his sexual organs. And he was in the cavity wall and he was laying some eggs. Uh, and, uh, the man from the council came around and said, what you've got here is a type of hominid called a, a homo silverman. And that's basically it. <laughs> Thank you. We have uh, one more voice outside. Can, who, who is this our mystery guest? Joe. Do you recognise that voice? Yes. Joe. Joe, would you like to come on and tell a story? Joseph Wilson, friend and a supposed stand-up comic. Ladies and gentlemen, Joseph Wilson. Thank you. So I was like, fucking trains, cunts. <laughs> Hi. Now, I've known you like for many years. I'm going to take a seat, Joker. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take a seat. Oh, I'll fucking take a seat. Now, for many years, at the other pub, we don't fucking <laughs> know. Right. We'd always get fucked up at the after the show, right, and then cross the road, and then we'd always have a lot of lower laughs and then get really drunk. And I once, when Eli was taking a wee, I once took a picture of his No! Wee. <laughs> no! Shush. Shush. Now, <laughs> now, 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 <laughs> now, so for years, Eli would always, I'd always like wind him up and go, oh, but you know, it's still got that photo, right? And he'd go, hey, no fucking leg, Right? And by the way, I first did Eli's impression, but now Paul has a different way of doing it. So anyway, not that I'm better. But for years, ladies and gentlemen, we can now reveal. <laughs> Thank you. Right. This is actually, I, I think it's only fair to say, you always like, oh, have you got it? Have you don't have it? Fuck oh, off. God. After seven years of keeping on my phone, Eli Silver. Don't show it, don't show it. Don't working in a shop, it could be a charity shop, doesn't necessarily have to be. Uh, mostly they're stories about shit. 
Um, which is fine, but Christ, in my inbox, it's like, this story's about shit, delete. This story's about shit and piss, delete. This story's about shit, piss, and shitting in a man's mouth. I'll save that. Yeah, one. save that. Oh, my God. But um, we don't get a chance to read them all, because some of them are actually deeply depressing. Uh, but I've got two that I've been banking for a while, so uh, shall I just cut to the chase and start the story? Well, do I get a chance to read them? You can read the second one, yeah, is that all right? Yeah, sure. Okie okay, dokie, okay. this is our first one. This comes from a guy called Justin. So, about ten years ago, I used to pump porta potties. Strap in, you're gonna love this one. Uh, and septic tanks. When our smaller trucks would get full, we would unload into a big tanker truck that held 22,000 gallons. That's 22,000 ga 22, gallons of shit. So one cold January morning, I went to unload into the big tank. <laughs> That's what it says! Which makes it sound like he was having a jack-off session, but anyway. And everything was going as usual. After about 30 seconds, the fittings that held the pipe from my truck to the tanker failed. If you've ever been behind a tanker truck of the like, you will know that the rear output on them is at a perfect face stroke mouth level. <laughs> you can see where this is going. Oh. So the heavy metal coupling hit me in the chest at a speed and pressure that only 22,000 gallons of shit coming out of a four inch <laughs> opening can produce. Now at this point, I am pinned against my truck and the tanker, which is only four feet away, to put it in perspective with the sewage of countless Homes blasting it. Oh, hang on, to put it in perspective with the soup. Why do you just write, just write simple? <laughs> just read good. No, it's the sentence it doesn't make any sense. Fuck off. <laughs> anyway. The tanker sprayed at four feet away a force of shit so strong it shot straight down my throat and filled me up like a balloon. Oh, that's not true. I managed to get away and drop off all of my clothes in 10 degree Fahrenheit weather and was sprayed down with cold water for 10 minutes. I jumped in. <laughs> Here we go. Got a little gag moment then. I jumped in my car, now covered in frozen shit and feeling very ill from all the sewage in my stomach. I drove home naked, covered in shit, and when I got home it was just in time for my neighbour's kids to see me running from my truck, covered in shit and ice, and they never talked to me again. This is totally true, and if you go, if, if you call my old boss, he can verify. The company is called Gotta Go Potties, and the number is 570 blank blank blank. Thanks for the podcast, keep up the good work, guys. Well, thank you. Yeah, that might be the peak shit story we've ever had. I, I would have liked if there'd been some kind of dead pensioner, like, <laughs> in there, maybe the hand comes out, so, you know, <laughs> like that. <laughs> out of the sewage truck. Well, it's like, it's him. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> and then, at the end, like, a dead pensioner's hand slaps him in the face, comes out, and it's, it's, it's some murder has been dumped in pensioners in it. <laughs> I'm spitballing something, you know. That... Yeah, so this story's just for you to read. Now, I've called him anon, because when you read the story, you'll find out why I should keep him anonymous. But also, I'm a little bit unsure this is a true story, but I'll let you read it. I'm unsure that last one is, because he would have... <laughs> he said it's true. He would need medical attention. If you swallow any If you swallow tons of shit... Yeah, you need I, to go to the... I would... I... <laughs> <laughs> I can't think about it too much, because I... <laughs> <laughs> this has got so meta, your gag thing. You only have to think about gagging. You, there's, no, there's no sort of... No, I'm not thinking about gagging, I'm thinking about swallowing hot old shit. <laughs> Are right, you ready? Yeah. Calm down. This is not a shit-based story you'll be glad to hear. This is more like Breaking Bad. I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm just sort of... Uh, Still sort of, reading it. I can see Klu Klux Klan there. Yeah. Mmm. Uh, mmm. <laughs> Good. Read it. I've vetted it. It's fine-ish. Right, I've already got an <laughs> issue with the first line. Oh, here we fucking go. <laughs> Why don't you write things? I don't write what you don't write! <laughs> Just. I oh. should have done that bit as well. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Anon. But who is Just? What kind of name is Just? Hello. Is... Justin. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for clearing that up for me. Go on. 
Before I get into the actual shop floor portion of this story, you'll need some background. Well, I background. Mm. Years ago, despite my protestations, a very distant relative moved into my extra bedroom. This was a man in his 50s. I was in my early 20s at the time. Thank you, great. Uh, he wore almost nothing but very, very short cut-off denim shorts. I like this already. And no, why? Like, oh, it's just nice, nice colour. I saw a man on the train, it must have been about 70, wearing the smallest running shorts I've ever seen. And he fell asleep and had a big smile on his face, and then literally over the course of the next three stops, he got the massivest bonk on him. <laughs> Like a few days ago, he's asleep. Yeah. On, he looked really happy to be fair to him. If you're 70, you're just like, oh, fuck it. I can't <laughs> believe it. <laughs> Doesn't matter where it is, it's working, isn't the it? The problem is, he's asleep, so he can't enjoy it. I have to wake him up. He had an erection, and oh, I missed it. <laughs> anyway, go on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> in man in his 50s, I was in my early 20s. He wore almost nothing but very short cut off denim shorts and Rolling Stones t shirts. He had a pet caiman which is a small alligator, if you didn't know. I didn't know. Which he let run loose in his bedroom at all times. He was a high-ranking member of the local Ku Klux Klan. Rock and he was roll. also a member of the Army Reserve, <laughs> despite the fact that he was legally blind without his glasses. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a Netflix thing, isn't it? <laughs> uh, he achieved this for years by hand-altering his medical exam forms. He... Hand-altering. Hand <laughs> no, not that. Banked on his form. <laughs> Just uh, do a little bit of hand alteration on that. Dot the eyes, cross the T's, love. Oh. Spunk on this form. Yeah, yeah, okay. got the point. Moving on. Hand alteration, his medical exam forms. Yeah. Was also he's also mentioned more than once to me that he was still in the reserves because he could he could get cigarettes quite cheap in the Middle East and come home and resell them. Why does that make him sit in the reserves? I don't, I don't know. know. He was interesting, to say the least. He was to pay a modest amount per month and one utility bill of his choice. Great deal! Yeah, but what's... I mean, what? Huh? That's stupid. Like, oh, I'll turn the light on and off. I won't be taking the electricity. I mean, why would you choose which utility to fuck This pay? week I'm paying for Netflix. They could put in a big sort of, uh, like, fruit machine. There you go. Gas. <laughs> <laughs> no, like That's it's just it's great. Plan. Stupid. Fucking stupid. <laughs> really pissed off at this. <laughs> Utility bill of his choice. My ass. That's where the story falls down. Anyway, it went well for about two months before he stopped paying anything. For the next six months or so, he had an excuse every month not to pay. Obviously, I wasn't happy with this. So while he was in the Philippines meeting his mail order bride for the first time, <laughs> brackets yes, <laughs> I went into his room to snoop around for money. I was hoping to find a few dollars and maybe some change. Right, this is all very, very morally dodgy. dubious yeah. in every, uh, every aspect. Um, so he's gone to steal money from him. I mean, he was owed it, but you know. Uh, instead, I found a large plastic storage container chocked full of eight balls of cocaine. <laughs> And two thousand six hundred dollars cash. I took Whoa. it all. He what? He just took it. Yeah. Why not? Fucking. Because it's theft. He could, what? It's, you know, he's going to go to the police. Someone stole all my eight balls of cocaine. <laughs> yeah. No, he won't. Of course. That's that's the whole point. That's why the real good career criminals they rip off other criminals and they're fucking cool and they're you know. Stop, stop watching Peaky Blinders. <laughs> now, fast forward to the shop floor part. Good. Yeah, I was wondering. Uh, I was volunteering at our local Salvation Army store to pay the place. To say the place was mismanaged was an understatement. Most days there was only one person working, so if that person were you, you would be expected to sort donations in the back and then run back out into the front if a customer arrived. I'd recently lost my job and was barely scraping by with that job due to my housemate not paying anything. Then I had an idea. The Coke. <laughs> the Coke was the idea. If the Coke. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking, that's the idea. I would, have had that idea. I would have had that idea at least a paragraph ago. <laughs> I'd done nothing with the coke and used all the money catching up the bills that were late. I spread the word to a few friends about my new business venture. I wasn't into that particular drug, but I knew that they'd be able to find me business. Of course, always. For the next eight months, anyone who came into, into the back to make a donation and asked if Mandy was working, <laughs> left with cocaine. 
at the end of it all, I had made over $10,000. My housemate, housemate ended up getting caught leaving the Philippines attempting to smuggle drugs, no shit. <laughs> I haven't seen him since the Cayman is okay, though. Oh, they kept the alligator thing? Yeah, the Cayman. Great! Yeah. Is that it? That's it, man. He just uh, nicked a bunch of drugs off his yeah, crazy like, racist it is, housemate. It is like Breaking Bad. Except, you know, shorter. I've always had that fantasy about finding a large amount of drugs and then having to... Uh, uh, Sell it. Yeah. Yeah? Undercover. Because you don't want to let people know, because then they come... Oh, okay, you sell drugs to me then, now. You've got all these drugs, and I, I'm, I'm a big dealer, all right? <laughs> Sitting in a car with the wind, windows wound up. Hello. How can I help you? Well, I've got loads of drugs. You want them around the corner? What kind of drugs do you have? What do you want? I've got uppers, downers, in between us. Oh. I like uppers. Oh, yeah? I like it. Uppers US? <laughs> what? what? There's a thing, my dad. There's a thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> where they like, there was a joke going around about the Italian accent when, yeah. when he was a kid, where they asked where Minnesota was, and then the Italian sort of butt of the joke would say, Upper US? Upper US? It's funny, Paul. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> anyway, I, okay, I take the uppers. I'll tell how much. Okay. Yeah, how they're much? around the corner. How lot. much? How much have you got? I've got uh, 28 balls. I'll give you uh, 15 quid for it all. <laughs> That's 15, not enough. I was hoping for more. 20 quid. No, <laughs> so did you push it up a bit more? 21. Uh, it could go up a little bit more. 22. Uh, I'm walking away. 23. I'm turning my back. <laughs> Five. You've gone down now. Oh, sorry. No, no, this is my first time, see? How about I give you 26 pounds? No, it's all right. My wife's gonna kill me. <laughs> I am a drug man. Bravo! Stuff. No, that was really good, Paul. Yeah. All right, have uh, I, you have used the same voice that you've used before, though. I'll do a different voice. No, no, you don't do the scene again, please. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> uh, want some drugs? I um, want some drugs. Can you have some? No, you look too young. I wouldn't yeah, 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 yeah. drugs. <laughs> I'm getting out of this. Uh, um, what drugs you got? I got none. None for the likes of you. <laughs> <laughs> shine, let it shine. Can I have some drugs? No. Can Barlow wants me to get drugs? Can I have some? Fuck off. Oh, I brought Babe. You can't talk to me. You like Babe? Gary's what, this... the movie Babe? No, the song. <laughs> All I do each night is Babe. I bet that you're All we, all all I do each night is Babe. Shut up. To babe. <laughs> me, me. <laughs> Bravo! No! <laughs> right, it's this time of the show. We like to play a little game that everybody loves, and that game today is called the price of shite. It's the fucking price of shite. It's the fucking price of shite. It's the fucking price of shite. Oh, it's the fucking price of shite! Oh, that's right! Yay! And to join us in this first game, we have some guests. We said hardly anything to them today, so let's get our first guest on. Oh, who, who's playing price of shite? Oh, it's Stuart's playing it. Welcome Yay! on stage, Mr. Stuart Fashion, everybody. Who would like to go forward? I believe that one should work, sir. Be very careful. It's very much a tangled web we weave. I don't think it does work. Yes, it, it does. Is. Hey. It is. Stuart, everybody! It's very small up here. 
Just in case you hadn't noticed. Yes, well, he doesn't take up much real estate, so we're fine. Uh, right. Oh, hang on, I found a paperclip. <laughs> that is your first price of shite. How would you think that cost? Well, it's pink. It's yeah. metallic. It's just um, fancy. Yeah, it's quite fancy. It's a quality paperclip. As uh, yeah. paperclips go, this is like upper echelon. Mm. This is god tier of paperclips. God um, tier. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Although, how many tiers can you have for paperclips? Let's be honest. As many as you fucking like. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> right, suck it up. Paperclip breaks the time every time I come on stage. Don't, don't you know I hate them. Coming over here binding all paper. I won't have it. Oh, don't do another improvisation. I've got one of the characters. <laughs> Half a pen. Is correct. Yay! Yeah. So, what we usually like to do on uh, the price chart is me and Eli will buy a few things and we'll rate them all, we'll score them. We're going to do something slightly different for our live version. We're going to hopefully harvest a few price of shite items from you, the crowd, because I believe some of you have brought something, yeah? Yeah. Yes. Not as I'm many not as I thought, though. Well, I've got one. It doesn't matter. Yeah, we've got one. You say yours for the second I've shot. got, actually, I've duplicated it three times so that, yeah. See, I prepared. And uh, I've got plenty of prices. And the other thing I wanted to mention, Paul, oh. I think, you know, I was looking, I was at McDonald's the other day. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> Fucking, oh, I hate it so much when you do that. <laughs> I really do. No, yeah. honestly, I do. Let's carry on. <laughs> and I looked at the fillet fish, <laughs> and I <laughs> looked at the <laughs> fish, <laughs> and I thought, that's clever, isn't it, the way that they've left off the F. <laughs> you mean some fish? <laughs> no, it's not fillet of ish, it's uh, fillet o fish, right? Oh. So, yeah. I think that it should be the price o shite. No. <laughs> no, we're Why not they're renaming the it's show good. because you got enticed by fish. It's homely. It's, it's homely. It's like, oh, down on the farm, I got the price o shite. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong You pig old shit. No! How about price R shite? Yes! You can take it off Toys R Us, because they're dead. They're not using it. Yeah, and what about Babies R Us? No, they're not! <laughs> Don't get me started on that. that yeah. <laughs> right, anyway, so, to start off the price of shite, what we're going to do today is something a little bit different. Rather than score it for price and things like that, we're going to find five items for you from the crowd. And, Shall I go um, get them? In a minute, yeah. And you will put them in order from cheapest, to most expensive. So Eli, when you get them, yes. I need you to take a quiet note of the price. And uh, it do down. you have a pen and paper for that? No. <laughs> um, it's going to be difficult, isn't it? You're going to have to use your brain. Oh, right. I can do that. Oh, hang on. Is, is Stuart looking for money? No, I'm just uh, killing time. Okay, I'll remember. I can remember. All right, okay. I'll, remember I'll tell you price. what, we can actually get the price uh, the items at the very end because we can stand up once they've all been put in because we won't know, so we'll reveal it at the end. I don't understand what you're saying. Well, no, because Stuart will put them in a row, but well, then we'll find out which was the cheapest at the end when we've got them all. Okay. okay. To shout the price okay, out. fine. Yeah, yeah I got you now. Yeah. Right. So that, shall I get some items? In a minute, I've got my first item to start oh, off. Right. Yeah. So, what's your item? And the first item on this live edition of the price. Oh, shite. For I have got Peter Davison's book of Alien Planets. Ooh. Ooh. What? It's a little book that uh, Peter Davison put his name on, and that's it. <laughs> Literally, um, all he's done is gone. Someone went up to Peter Davison and went, "You're Doctor Who." He went, "Yeah." Do you want to help us compile a book of sci-fi? Yeah, what have I got to do? Nothing, just write 50 words at the top of the book and fuck off. I'll do it! <laughs> what did he say? I was, uh, was he Dave, Doctor Who? I can read that actually. Do you want to read out what his introduction says? He was Doctor Who, right? Yeah, right? yeah, he was the fifth. Yeah, he was. He was the young one who nobody liked because he looked different to the others, but then they liked him a bit more. And that's how Doctor Who always that works. That always works, that way. <laughs> In what might be termed the first book of the series, I mean, what might be termed? Well, they haven't, they haven't sent me the contract. It's a bit of weird, isn't it? It's a bloody introduction. A book of alien monsters, no less. You advertise as planets, you fucking He doesn't even know what the fuck he's doing. He's drunk right in this. He's too busy buying a trillion. Have I got a series? Have I got the next series? A series of books? I don't know. I'm Peter Davidson. Do you like this? I could come back. So he's off his face on Eli's speed. Here. In what might be termed the first book of the series, a book of alien monsters, no less. No. I expressed my sense of honour at having such a book of my own. It's really not good with the words. No. Is he Davison? No. The one who didn't fucking write anything. Well, I'm honoured again. Again? Oh no, no this must follow. be the second. Yeah. What I'm getting now. This is the second. And the first was. Oh, I'm with.
with you. Think about it. If you're going to do books of alien things, you'd start with the monsters. Did monsters, yeah. then yeah. Yeah. planets, and then it's going to be like lavatories, yeah. Yeah. Sort of cutlery, yeah. Moss, yeah. alien cutlery. Yeah. Peter Davison's book of alien cutlery. Yeah. <laughs> I bet that goes for a fortune on Amazon. <laughs> a year has passed, and as Doctor Who, I have confronted a few more alien monsters in my spare time just to get away from it all. I have been reading about strange places in faraway galaxies. Now, I find myself presenting to you a book of alien planets. The stories were chosen, somewhat selfishly perhaps, because I like them. No, no, they don't. What a fucking lie. You mean <laughs> the people in the researcher's yeah. office like them? I haven't read anything. That's what you say. I, mean, oh, I thought you said that you haven't read anything. No, well, I actually have. Ha oh, have you? Yes. What, what's your favourite book? The, the work of Dickens. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Dickinson, that is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so basically, it's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight old science fiction stories from the 50s. Yeah. Oh, there's some like, titles in there written by noted authors. There's obviously Ray Bradbury, Clark, obviously yeah. Clark, yeah. Uh, Mary Gentle, I haven't heard of. Yeah, yeah Mary Gentle, Ray Bradbury. She, and Clark. Stephen David was quite a popular writer as well. So these are from like the. Um, these were probably taken from some of those pulp uh, sci-fi magazines. Of the time, yeah. yeah. It was typeset in Bury St Edmunds, though, as your guarantee of quality. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, so, I yeah, like the cover. It's one of those 70s prog rock Yes album type yeah. things. You know, yeah. Is it Chris, Chris Foss? Yeah, it kind of looks like a set of alien dildos, though. It certainly does. Maybe that was the third in the series. I got the covers mixed up. <laughs> alien sex toys. <laughs> Yes, I do remember E.T. Right, I'm going to put that. Good, you can pull great work. So that's your first item, the Peter Davis. First item. Tour. So that's that's your starting point. Eli, go fetch some. Okay, who's got something for us? Yeah, okay. Oh, 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 I tell you what, grab three and we'll grab two on this side. Eli, ignore I've that got, side now. I've got 20 of them. <laughs> hand, us, hand us two from this side for now, we might get some later. Right, oh, and oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I know who's raising <laughs> If you don't know what I'm holding in my hand because you're listening to a podcast, it's a big pair of dangly rubber testicles. <laughs> stolen from a certain set, apparently. Uh, stolen from a certain stolen. set. Give stolen. We, Biffo was looking for these. <laughs> He's been without testicles now for two months. Yeah. These right. are props. So they're disqualified because we know their origin, yes? Yeah? So get rid of them. God, it's really freaking <laughs> out. I don't want that. I don't need that. Memory. <laughs> like the shadows of my mind. Right, what have we got? <laughs> Your balls back, Biffo. I don't know what I've been doing. Yeah, what have you been? Well, they under the tank. You know. Yeah, I do. That's your unfortunate problem. Okay. I know exactly where these have been, and my mouth will never forgive you. <laughs> so, uh, I'll just hand these to you. Uh, Firstly, we have a green skull, green rubbery skull, and it's got very pleasing weight to it. Thank you. Right. Nice. Feel that weight. Ooh, that's, that's a projectile. Mm, I think it may be a pencil eraser. Does it have a smell? No. Just... <laughs> yeah. Everyone sniffs the skull. Well, it's quite nicely moulded. It's very heavy. It's very solid. I still think it's stationary of some type. Also, big overbite. Paperweight could be. It could be like Mr. Burns from The Simpsons. Oh, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so we've got that item. That's price so shite item two. Then we have this delightful picture of a chimpanzee baby who's super glued to the head of a cat. <laughs> There's a chimp strangling a kitten, isn't it? That chimp is on so much heroin as well. <laughs> Sorry. You can see it this side, yeah. It's a lovely, lovely picture. There you go. And then what else we got? Oh, who's this little lady here? This is a piece of. It looks like a piece of tourist tat from Ibiza. 
And it's a, a grieving widow. <laughs> it's a Mediterranean style grieving widow, and she has a little faggot of. Um, is that what they call them? I fucking hope so, mate. Jesus. <laughs> a bindle of sticks. Yeah, oh, a bindle. Hey. I was going to say bindle, but I didn't dare. But now you've released it. <laughs> yeah, release the bindle. It's a bindle stroke faggot she's got there. Stop saying faggot. It's a, it's a term used for a bunch it's of sticks. It's debatable. Or meaty meatballs. A meatball, thank you very much. A black country meatball. Right. Spider-Man 2. <laughs> <laughs> On UMD, the finest of all four. <laughs> tell, Stuart, tell us a bit about UMD. Well, UMD stands, I believe, for Universal Media Disc, and it was one of Sony's proprietary formats that they kept trying to force on people. <laughs> Um, which didn't work very well. They were only playable in this country, I believe, in a Sony PSP, although there were standalone players made for them abroad. Thank you very um, much. Short version. Bit of shit in it. Now, <laughs> who, who is a, who's a volunteered this uh, object? Now, you've done something very silly. <laughs> the fucking <laughs> thing <is silly. laughs> I was going to say, they're all a quid in CEX That's anyway. That's a step one. Oh, it's a quid, is it? Oh, fuck. But we still don't know what order it comes in, so if there's still oh, a game right. play on those. Alright. Right. Look at it. Look at this. And he's put the receipt in. Look at that thing. That's pretty cool. I don't know why that didn't catch on. Um, because it fits bugger all data on it, and it's very, very slow. And so, what about the actual resolution? It looks like someone's uh, taped 50 gifts it. together. Because like most people, I've never watched one of the yeah. other things. I think it's slightly sub-DVD quality. But this is the <laughs> Sam Raimi Superman, uh, Spider-Man 2, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. That was good, I like that. Oh, that's all right, as long as you like Alfred it. Alfred Medina as uh, Dr. Octopus, was it? Dr. Octopus. Yeah. Now, what do we have here? Why do you just call him Doctopus? <laughs> <laughs> because then people think he's a cat. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> oh, yeah, Dr. Puss, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we have a book, a box of matchstick puzzles. Fifty brain teasers for bright spots. How many of these do I have to put in order? Uh, as many as he like decided. Seven hundred. <laughs> We're going to go for all of them. All right, all the ones I have. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Match. <laughs> brain teasers. Okay. <laughs> then we got this delightful American-themed Statue of Liberty biro, and the colour. It's blue. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, well, that's a surprise. There you go. Standard blue ink in there on everyone. And uh, lastly, oh. Oh. Ghost Boring. <laughs> yeah. Ghost Boring. Uh -huh, aren't you witty? Aren't you Captain fucking witty? Aren't you Oliver Wilde? <laughs> <laughs> Oliver Wilde, the wittiest man in the world. Oliver Wilde. Oliver Wilde. Okay, and so this is a Ghostbusters build box. Yeah, I've actually got one. Now I have two. <laughs> one for each eye. One for each eye. Yeah, I can position them at my face at different angles. Well, perhaps you guys oh. describe what it is, Paul. It's a book that's full of little pop-out cardboard models that you can fold and make into an Ecto-1 or a Hungry Slimer. Okay. It's good, it's got a little book in with puzzles and, and games and factoids. Not just facts. Toys. Does it place Ghost a recycling bin? Ghostbusters was a film from the 80s. Full stop. Fucking what else, you know? It was good, but a bit rapey on retrospect. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's not like noodles, is it? Well, how can noodles be rapey then? Exactly, they can't, they're neutral. You'll find a way, mate. Right, so, we got matchsticks, we got a uh, uh, pen, and we got GB book thing. Right, so that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items all together, including... Oh, it's like, oh, it's like a uh, cracker jack, this. You don't need to get questions, you have to hold as many as you can. <laughs> it was over 40. Yeah, reference to all of those people. Everyone else is like, he old man makes scary sounds with power. When I was at school, somebody said, Stu Francis, the host of Cracker Jack, was going to give a school assembly one day. Of course he fucking didn't. What a ridiculous line. Oh, I could sue a cunt. <laughs> that was his catchphrase, not sue a cunt. It was a crushy grape. Oh, I could crush a grape. And you built a career on that. On that. Yeah, you say career. Where did he go after Cracker Jack? Dole. 
The dog or something. Panto? Oh, God. Every bugger ends up in Panto. Yeah, when the British go to die. Eli yeah. and I will do Panto in a few years' time, I'm hoping. Oh, no. Oh, have you seen him? <laughs> Don't talk over. I had a good gag there. Go on. I said, oh, no, I won't. You won't? <laughs> I don't know the audience didn't pick up on that at all. That was uh, right. Oh. I think we're definitely on that. Right. Right. So you have now 30 seconds to put these. 30 seconds? Yeah. <laughs> to work out bloody chicken put on the floor. Stick them on the floor. And, and from this side is the cheapest. Go take your mic, Stu, for a second. I'm on the cheap side. Eli's on the expensive <laughs> side. You now have 30 seconds ish. Is this the order. Scottish Widows um, <laughs> lady who's been stunned by a lot of wasps? <laughs> Right, don't be Joe, go on then. Oh, good. So, okay, line them up from cheapest here to more expensive there. Just line them up on the so floor. So cheapest on the right. Yes. That's the going most... against the way my brain works. Oh, right, they're the other way around. <laughs> yes, okay. Well, that's what works for you. I was in Argos once. This gets back to what I always say. And... He is annoying, isn't it? No. Um, so, the lady served me, was very nice and all that, and she had said, Oh, before we go, can you do this little electronic thing where you say if you had good service or not? And it was literally like a row of faces from... Two. Two. You know, so I'm guessing it was the good one. Um, the yes, of course services. I will. And right in front of her, I pressed the one on the far right. And they had put the bad one on the far right and the good one on the far left against the way my brain works. So I stood in front of her and said, Of course I'll rate you, nice lady. The shit! Yeah, press the shit button. And then, then realised after she'd walked off. Oh! And that lady's name, Albert Einstein. <laughs> That's what you get for stealing ideas as a patent clerk. Right, so, are you ready to line your price of shite up no. tonight? Go! Go! One, two... No, we're not going to count the whole thing. Right. So, how are you, Eli? Alright. Right. 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 We haven't spoken to Ash yet. Say hello to Ash. Alright, hello, Ash. <laughs> I don't know why we bother having him on. I should have killed him off properly in that episode. He helps with uh, the uh, the longers that you, you provide. Oh, do I provide the longers? Yes. No, do I? Well, then get him to say something witty. Oh, I'd say something. It doesn't yeah. have to be witty. I once uh, went to Paul's house and he came to the door completely naked. <laughs> <laughs> and he... That's not true, I had an erection. <laughs> which he had dressed to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> of things you put at the end of turkey legs. Yeah. <laughs> Good, you filled the time, and uh, Stuart has. Oh, it's shedding, man. <laughs> Eli, look, I've got a new character. <laughs> oh. Do you know it's more the noise than the visuals? No. <laughs> Oh. It's the scribbles! No, that's Beware the scribbles! That's not the scribbles that are like. oh. Oh. This bit's going to work really well with the podcast. Wow, really? Oh, yeah. Well. But to all right. listeners, so, Paul's being a dick if the listeners want to just uh, see this. Well, technically, it's scrotum. Yes. Okay. Right, so, now, Eli, tell us what the cheapest to reach us was. Now, Stuart has opted for Peter Davidson's book of Alien Planets being the cheapest. Then, uh, one up from that is the Blue Ink uh, Statue of Liberty America thing. Byro, up from that, the obese. Faggot carrying <laughs> Mediterranean Widow for my people. Next to that, the outdated, what's it called? A UMD? UMD. UMD, a video of Spider Man 2, the Sam Raimi one. Then we have the beautifully weighted green skull, my personal favourite item, yeah, which you put in the middle. Yes. I already regret this. I think um, just Davison's introduction angered me so much I wanted to be well, the cheapest. Yeah, he's, uh, he's cheap, isn't he? Well, it's like, that's... Ooh. <laughs> Take that, Davison. Well, it's like, oh, when they asked me to do this book, I was delighted. I can barely convince you of this in the written form at the beginning of the fucking book. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, we've got the green skull there. Next up, we have the very cute kitten and orangutan... What are they called? Chimpanzee, sorry. Kitty chimp, fun. Then we have the I Matt the Chimp's dead now I look at it. Yeah, he is definitely dead. He's definitely God. dead. What they've done is they've made some specially blurred wallpaper and he's actually just glued onto it. <laughs> For fake depth of field to then, conceal a dead chimp. Yes. They'll go to, wow. they'll go to all photographers, eh? Yes. Uh, and then your second most expensive item, according to you, is the matchstick. Puzzles, brain yeah, teasers in a box. box. You see, they like that in charity shops. And then you said the most expensive item was the Ghostbusters build box. Even bigger box. 
Yes. Logic. Yeah. yeah. Now, we need to find out the prices now and see if the order is correct. So, I will tell you that the Peter Davidson book cost me one pound. One pound? What? One pound, I know. Oh. Would you buy that from fucking Harrods? <laughs> Well, that's the London charity shops for you. I could have gotten that for 50p in Cambridge, yeah. but not the hoity toity Harrow on the hill. You didn't tell me bloody London show. I, well, Listen, you're going to have to rejig your whole thought pattern for London. Right? It's a bit late now, though, because we've done it. So, next, the pen. How much did that cost? It was 225 US. 225 oh, USD, oh, 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 my favourite Star Trek series. <laughs> so how much is 250? That's about £1.50. Let's say £1.50. Okay, let's say okay. Okay, okay, so he's got the right order there with those oh, two. Well, yeah, I got, I'm going to write this down. Pen. Oh, there we have. Pen on the floor. Blue ink. <laughs> 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 you can write in the book of planets. because right, I've written on the it. phone now. So next, who got the widow? You say, how much? How much was the um, widow? She was 50p. She oh. was 50p. Oh, <laughs> widow doll, 50p. So that goes there. Spider Man 2 on thing. Oh, no one's admitted to it now. You did? Yeah. How much was that, sir? One pound. One pound? <laughs> oh, another pound. Oh, exciting. Am I exciting? No, it's not. Can I ask, did the New York pen, did that come from like a Goodwill shop or was it from a uh, tourist place? It was actually from a Japanese place. <laughs> a Japanese bookstore in New York. I was already there and it was, I saw it, I had to get it because it was so bad. No, fair enough, that's yeah. great. Leave it for the program of this show. It's that a bizarre thing. I've got a bookstore in New York that sells Japanese books. Better get a patriotic pen. Yeah. <laughs> right, so the green skull. Who had the green skull? Yes, sir. Madam, I can't quite see. Sorry. Uh, is it a pound? It's a pound. Oh, oh, yeah, a pound. We've got a big Gunji pound mess at the bottom of this. <laughs> Who brought us the kitty picture? Hello, madam, what was it worth? It was £2.20. Oh! oh yeah. It's really a quick frame as well. It's that's, nice good, a good that's in the right place so far, isn't it? Yes, yes. yeah, it gets me points. Yes. Two twenty. so that leaves... Uh, how much was the skull again? Fuck, I didn't write it down. Pound. pound. Everything's a pound. Shut up! <laughs> I've just put 1K down now. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. matchsticks, how much for the matchsticks? You, sir? It was 5p with any purchase, and I got a Ghostbusters thing for you, oh, so it came Christ. with it. Match this, 5p. Oh, no. <laughs> oh no, there you go, he's blindsided us with that one, my god. <laughs> and then finally, the Ghostbusters big box of books, books, box. Here you are, Two. Two. Two, Two quid. I almost had a sentence come out of my mouth then as well. <laughs> it was very exciting. Right. Oh, so, that means... I'll put them in the right order then. So, uh, 2p was the matchsticks. Five there. p. So that's in the bottom. Five yeah, p. I mean that's that's not right. Come on. Come on. Fifty p. Fifty p. Yeah. Then we have every item that was a quid, which was the Spider-Man two DVD, uh, the book, and the skull, and that's it. Oh, Spider-Man two. Yeah, you got all that. Yeah. Okay. Next was the pen. The pen. Yeah. One pound forty. Great. Um, With a, the monkey picture was two twenty, so that's the most expensive item, and the Ghostbusters book comes penultimate. So after all of that, because we've moved it around, we don't know how well. We <laughs> <laughs> God for that. <laughs> Formatting. Great formatting. Well, this is getting yeah. more partial. He took a picture. Oh, <laughs> thank God. I'm some... such a spoil sport. Come on, love. Yeah. I'll give you a quid to delete it. Yeah. <laughs> give it here now. No, don't give it to anyone in the audience. Yeah, I. You've got to delete it now. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I pressed the wrong button, I deleted it. <laughs> that was a successful segment of the show! Yeah. That's cool, I guess, Kent. Well, uh, you can sit down. Yeah, thank God for that. What have we got now? <laughs> you got that. I mean, Stuart won! I'll do the edit. Right, okay. <laughs> so, uh, in this part of the show, we like to rummage in Eli's 12 inch box and uh, pull out some treats for you to listen to. So, these Eli. Are, these are all 7 inch records. I know, but fucking, I was doing the last It's not a 12 inch box. Right, then you have a small dick gag then coming. 
We went through Eli's box and pulled out his tiny... No, that's tiny seven inches above average. <laughs> I got no intro now! No, no, no. Anyway, we're gonna do Silverman's fucking platter! Yay! Yay! And joining us is... Fairweather presenter, Ash Frith. Tend to uh, he's fucking lost interest. Oh, fuck right. No, I, I just need a whiskey. No, no, you don't. <laughs> just wait for me to get on stage. He's gonna fuck off. <laughs> I'm thinking of doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not desperate to get off. Yeah. Yeah. Me. Anyone else need to pee? Yeah. Oh, well, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> To I'll be honest with you, I'm sitting there, right? I can see the running order. We're about two points of a hundred points into the show. <laughs> it's been going, we've all been in it for four hours. <laughs> it's like live, eh? It's exciting. <laughs> Eli's going to come on and do Radio Gaga in a minute. We'll all go... <laughs> 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 Thank you. No, 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 no. Anyway, we're playing Silverman's Platter. Silverman! Yes. What's it about? It's when I get records from... <laughs> have, you, have you lost faith in it? I've not? lost, yeah. Um, I've lost the will to, you know. Um, but yeah, I've got some records, don't I? What are they? What do you mean, what are they? You told me! <laughs> For fuck's sake! This is what a real show's like, as well. Sit imagine down and start they, recording. Imagine if they'd had to pay to get in and watch this. I'm glad they didn't. Now, like, Paul, just remind me, which two are we doing in this show and which two are we doing? Okay. Now, I've got okay. these in my bag, so I can show them. Uh, oh, show them. Where's First your bag? It's just behind you. Did you hand it over to me? Jesus. Is that a bomb vest? <laughs> the bag does look like a bomb vest, it's true. Guys, it's just okay. tactical for a bombing. A practical <laughs> bomb vest. Can you pass my bag, please, Paul? Where is it? Just there! Oh! What's that? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Don't move! It's noodles! Oh, it's like Magic Mike! But with noodles! <laughs> Fine. Alright, have you got your fucking records now? Right, okay. Okay, so the first record, um, I'm sorry, I couldn't get the picture sleeve for this one. Okay. I don't know if there was one, but this is a, a typical novelty record of the 80s. Uh, E.T. Phone Home. <laughs> by Jupiter A featuring Ooh. Kitty Woodson. Who's Kitty, Kitty Woodson? Woodson? A porn star? Sounds like one. <laughs> Does someone know something we don't? <laughs> E.T. Phone Home. Foam Home, more like. Uh, <laughs> just keep trying. Oh. <laughs> E.T. Fingering something. <laughs> and making things to come to life with this bulbous end. Wouldn't she be called, if she wasn't called actress, she'd be called something like Kit Kat Woodon? <laughs> Kit Kat Woodon? What was wrong with Kitty? Pussy Wood. Pussy Wood. Pussy Wood what? <laughs> would take it from all comers on a dirty pool. Don't, you're looking like you're reading it, don't do that. <laughs> Sh shall, we, shall we listen to a little bit of it? Yes. Uh, Chris, could you play E.T. Phone Home? Good. Nice scene. What's your first impression of that? I like the way that they've cleverly incorporated the Close Encounters of the Third uh, Kind theme. Oh god, that's that. a good point. Yeah, it's not the E.T. theme, is it? No, it's the Close Encounters of the Third Kind. What's the E.T. theme? E.T. E.T. Stop that. It's E.T. 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 That's super 
Closing counters are. Oh, that's what they use on that. That kind. So I want to know. They actually got. They need permission. This it's has a right to any of it. No, I don't think they did. I think it was, a, they got it the was a passion. But I, this uh, record has a real place in my heart because I remember it from the time listening to it on the radio. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All your anecdotes suck. <laughs> well, that was a bit. I knew. It's like you. I'm so pleased to be here. <laughs> Listen, that anecdote was topped off with a lovely R, uh, little R uh, of nostalgia, which works as an end to uh, any kind of sentence. It's a lovely story, the story oh. of Eli remembering listening to a song on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> right, Ash. Ash, what are your opinions on this song? I thought it was turgid old shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't understand how that gets made. That can't, could not have taken more than half an hour to produce. It's it? a novelty song, which is a format that doesn't exist anymore. All right. Y you! <laughs> what do you think of it? What's your name? Where'd you come from? <laughs> Connor just moved to London. Did you like that song? She no, didn't really care for it. This is why I don't talk to the audience. <laughs> <laughs> what did you want her to say? They said it that was song Jimmy was every feedback. Oh, I thought it was a classical disco classic. I believe it got to quite high position in the charts. Mm, did it? What kind of position? Fourth. <laughs> Fourth in the charts. Fourth in the charts, <laughs> I believe. And now coming in at number four. <laughs> in third, and in first position. Yeah. That's how it works. Yeah, that is right. That's how it works. You've got the kink. In tenth. No, you're doing it right again. Stop doing it right. Tenth of place. Number ten. Say that. Number ten. Say that. They can't give a fuck. They've switched off. Frankly, I'm losing energy now. I've got another fucking show to do, and I want to wank. So, um, <laughs> I get excited. You don't want to wank, do you? All right, I, I, what, right, what would you rate it out of five? Well, you're wank. Yeah, rate my wank. Rate my wank. wank. <laughs> Two? Yeah. <laughs> Eli, rate my wank. You're fucking minus a hundred. <laughs> I gave it too because you looked me in the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, right, so it reminds me of a time where they used to have big movies and then they'd have some kind of tune about it. You don't get that now. What about Star Trek in? Do you remember that? Star, Star Trek in. Yeah. Trek in yeah. Across yeah, the yeah, universe. You don't have to on the Starship Enterprise, on the Captain Gig. <laughs> oh! <laughs> There's no like Avengers song, is there? Avengers, they're a bunch of strangers no, I'm fighting not... for the galaxy. I'm not asking you to write. I shouldn't one. have written a word that rhymes with galaxy <laughs> because it's a travesty. I wasn't asking you to improvise the song, Paul. I was just pointing out that there is one. <laughs> Avengers. <laughs> da 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 da. Ben. That's Black Beauty. Yeah. Does anyone ever? <laughs> <know? laughs> based on the movie seems to have completely disappeared. The last one I can remember is Wiki Wiki Wild Wild West. <laughs> Jim, West. Jim West, Desperado, Gunslinger. No, I don't want none of, none of this six gun, this brother one of this buffalo soldier. Yeah, that's what I told ya. Uh, you need to calm down. <laughs> Wiki Wiki Wild Wild West. <laughs> We're living in woo, the woo, Wild Wild West. We're living in the Wild West. Wiki Wiki Wild Wild West. A hundred people queuing up outside of just pissed off. Yeah. <laughs> right, come on, we've got to finish this fucking segment. I'll give it four. Great. Right, next part of the show. Uh, no, we're doing one Another more song. song. What is the next song? Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's Blobby. It's Blobby. It's it's blobby. Fuck. Are you sure? No, it's not. It's Ali. Ali be good. Spoilers for episode Top two. Topple off. Topple what off? Topple off. Topple off. Top of love. <laughs> he is... A racist French guy who yeah, decided it'd be funny. Yeah, yes. Yeah. No, no Chuck Berry. Really good. Yeah. We Chuck can't Berry. do this with everyone in the audience. We have to get through this tonight. <laughs> <laughs> he thought it'd be funny 
to do a version of Johnny Be Good as if Johnny was an Arab. Yes! Yeah. Very funny song. Ali. Oh, I'm not sure. Shall we listen to a bit of that now? Chris, can you play Ali Be Good, please? No. <laughs> That's more like it, Paul! Come on! Shit. That's again another novelty record, and I just find it interesting. You couldn't get away with that now, could you? No, um, not even in this room now. <laughs> well, I'm not, I didn't write it. Ash. Just, well, there's no proof you didn't. I, I'll be honest with you, no one's heard of it before. You're the only one peddling it. Look at this guy. Look at this guy as well. He looks so deviant. <laughs> he looks like he had to do a big line of brown heroin. Like there's, a, there's, a, there's a video on YouTube of him performing it on some kind of French variety show. And they've dressed him up just like that, yeah. and he badly mimes to his own fucking song, yeah. which you think he might want to know. Well, you weren't allowed to. And they've given him a guitar song on the back called Freddie Breck. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie Breck. Is that Freddie Breck? Wow. He gives you a warm glow. The more yeah, he does. <laughs> does. Oh, I want Freddie Breck. Yeah, that was the... Anyway, <laughs> they give him a guitar in the, in the video to play. And he's just, you know when people mime and they kind of look like they're doing something? Yeah. He was like, here's the guitar, and his hand was over here, stroking it like nowhere near, and then running his hands almost down the neck, and it looks like he was just trying to wank off two elephants. Hey! <laughs> like wank jokes! Yeah. <laughs> Ding! Right. Steven Count, what are we up to on the wank jokes? A lot. There's a lot. been a lot of wank jokes. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. We've got those two songs. We're going to see which one is the best of those two options, right? Okay. And we'll do that by a standing up session so we can see visually how people want to vote. Yeah? Well, yeah? Unless they're racist scum, it's going to be the first one, isn't it? Have a few racists in. It's just saying, no, we got any racists in. <laughs> Comes home is the best song. Stand up now! People don't oh. want to stand up. Well, they do. There they are. See, so one does, they all do. I'm Spartacus! Right. Okay, now sit down, that's a fair few. Now, ET comes home, it's much more I'm not. inclusive, isn't it? Now, ET, come home, we'll second... make a home for you, get a job, yeah. settle into the community. Now, <laughs> next one. Ali, be good! Stand Stop up! Me. Stand up! If bad. you're racist, yeah. here we go. It's not a racist oh, song! <laughs> Good! Right. right. So the winner is because we force people to. <laughs> Somebody was like, I really like that song, it's quite upbeat. Oh, it's it's fine. Now. All he's saying is, this is an Arab who does rock and roll. I mean, it's not he's me, not it's not my culture. culture. Yeah, it's an Arabness, though, is he? Do you know who else well, it's, it's not racist, it's more like cultural appropriation. Well, you know who else likes <laughs> about Arabs? Jimmy Savile. Really? With a, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. A, 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 <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Ooh. I was a bit stoned with. Joe a few nights ago. Oh yeah? And we Do drugs? Horrible... Illegal drugs? What the fuck? Fuck it out! You're the... yeah, disgusting! <laughs> the problem is that we confuse Michael Jackson with Jimmy Savile. So, we... <laughs> so we invented Jimmy Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> so we're like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> of our vinyl selection this week. <laughs> right, no messing about, we're on to the final, or not the final section, we've got two sections, we're going to get through them as quickly okay. as we can, because we're already rushing against the time, I'm looking at the clock on the wall, everything's go, stop wasting Come time, we'll stop looking at the clock, yes, you're still on, it's just, don't do with that. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I'd just like to hear, hear me. 
<laughs> you're the only one. Right. <laughs> in our next section, which is Cheap Beats, the man who created the website, the genius, the world that is digitised it. Please welcome on stage, Mr Biffo, a.k.a. Paul Rose! Sex Hammer! Sex Hammer! Sex Hammer. <laughs> the Sex Hammer! So how are you doing, Mr. Biffs? I'm desperate for a week. Really? Yeah. I'm prepared to stand oh, up. Oh, Don't oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to stretch as much as possible. To he's he's peed a lot out. today. Yeah, oh, you have for a week. week before. Yeah, I'm, you've not been keeping tabs on my donation <laughs> today. <laughs> you know of one week that I've done. That's <laughs> it. No, I planted on you a, a, a urine version of Fitbit. I haven't. Cool how, many, how many weeks have I had today? Yeah, Seven. Well, okay. Not cool. What? Little problem with the name. Um, <laughs> it's a urine version of Fitbit, and it's called Shitbit. So, uh, <laughs> iTunes sell well, books. <laughs> Audio books. <laughs> They're not tunes. They're not tunes, are they? Yeah. You wouldn't get out of You don't sell tunes. You mean nine bucks? I would if I had them here. Right. Well, then we'll arrange that for next time. Here's Steve Jobs. You bastard! He's dead. <laughs> I'm like gonna do dig, dig him up. Yeah, I've really? got books, Steve. Yeah, you know what I do after I dug him up? What? Shit in his grave. <laughs> Steve Jobs. Yeah. yeah. Steve hey! Jobs. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> so, it is cheap beats time. Hey! hey. And we have a few things to get through, so I'm going to start with the two things I was given before the show. Okay. And then we'll hunt from the audience and see what you've got. So, here's the first thing. Fish out those cheap beats for us now, Mr. Gavin. What have we got here? Right, so we'll start with the lollipop. Because I think, Naomi, you got me this lollipop? It is a lollipop. A fruit flavoured <laughs> lollipop. It's just a lollipop, but it's got the gurning, masturbational face of the Pope on the floor. Like he's chucking his holy beans. <laughs> looks a bit like, what's his name? Um, oh, the, the oh, one foot in the grave, though. Oh, I don't... That's what it looks like. I don't believe it! I don't believe it! I don't believe it. <laughs> it's that dude. So, uh, it's Ireland 2018. Now, why did they make a Pope? Because they're... Um... Well, I'm asking Naomi, not you, you fuck. <laughs> Give it the mic. No, don't. Yes, it's too late now, you're involved. Yeah, I'm coming out to you. Coming over here. It's to crem commemorate the Pope visiting Ireland. I thought successfully. You nearly said crem crem cremate or something, I think. And I was like, they did that. not cremate the Pope yet. <laughs> <laughs> we all got a lick there. No, only one of us. Do you know what? I just like the fact that it's called a lolly Pope. <laughs> well, look, it's not called, it's called cheap eats, not cheap pun-based bullshit. <laughs> did, did, you, did you pay for that through PayPal? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Yeah. Uh, give it a Catholic! <laughs> Yay! I won't charge you for it, I'll keep it on the mitre! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Catholics for kids! <laughs> Yay! Oh, we're doing it. Right, I'm opening it. No, he's, I'll let him lick it. Eli, you're in charge of licking the Pope. Okay, I'll get to taste this, dude. What oh, flavour is the Pope? The Pope. It's got no huff. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, it's like the smell of nothing. Right, um, <laughs> give it a little. Yeah, is, it, is it hard? Mm. Oh, no, don't, don't, I'm getting my misophonias playing up. Quite chewy. I think it's lemon and vanilla flavoured. Lemon oh. and vanilla. I thought you said vinegar. I was like, what the fuck's <laughs> lemon and vinegar flavoured? They, they missed the tree. It should have been co communion wafer yeah. uh, flavour. Or red wine, like the oh, blood mm, of Christ. Mm. I'm, gonna mm. I'm gonna have a nibble on the opposite side. It's not as bad as it could be, is it? It's got a kind of sherbetiness. Oh, well, I now, I, I now want to nibble on the tip. That was too hard there. It's got a softness. It's got a softness to it. Right. Does anyone else want to lick my Pope stick? Oh, there you go. Right, what's the next? We need a school for you, uh, from you. Uh, it's pretty easy to keep that. Um, <laughs> um, it's generic, sugary yeah. kind of Out of thing. five. Five? Out of five. Not in now. <laughs> Spin me Pope sticker. Out of five, I'll give that two and a half. I didn't ask you, I'm going to hear yeah, you. What's my show? <laughs> you asked me first! He does need to calm down, doesn't he? <laughs> wow. It's all about the eruption. It's alright because the second show's going to be. Oh, uh, well, did you show? <laughs> well, I would give it two and a half, though, out of five. 
Two and a half. Oh, and from you, Paul, two and a half. Yeah? Two and a half. I would say think? three. I quite liked it. And I liked, you know what was surprising about the flavour of that? Had a little sparkly sherbetiness. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that. A little fizz. Do you know, do you know what I'm saying? It has a little fizz to it, doesn't it? What would you rate yeah. it? Yeah. Three. 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 Yeah. Three. 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 Now, what's next on the uh, oh, cheap well, heat? Now, Stuart, I believe. Do you want to pass this to Stuart so we can get involved in this? I believe, What's Stuart, that? you have a hand in getting these to me today. Yes. They are called musk sticks. Oh, God. <laughs> so I'm wondering if they taste of have they mad uh, entrepreneur Elon Musk. <laughs> that mad, stupid well, fucking bastard. Well, it, su it suggests to me that maybe they've been dipped in a deer when it's on heat or something. Oh, my God. Oh, no, that's a good point. I should check what it is. Fucking hell, we did. I just, I just, I did, I just did a metaphorical shit in. <laughs> Steve Jobs' grave! <laughs> <laughs> Did a fucking stick in a fucking deer? No! That's too mine. much, is it? Fuck <laughs> me! These are made in Australia from at least 96 Australian ingredients. Including says, fucking deer spunk! Yeah, of course! Cool. We love deer spunk! It says try it. Love you'll it. love it, or your money back. Alright, let's give it a go. This is going to be... Ooh. Allergy advice contains <laughs> everything you're allergic to, apparently. Has it got so fish in it? Has it got your fake made up allergy of fish because you're scared of vagina? <laughs> You've seen that the old. Hang on, right, no. I poured prawn juice in your mouth right. by accident. <laughs> <laughs> what happened was him laying on the floor going, oh, I've got an allergy. <laughs> right? And then Fuck nothing. Fuck all. My face, <laughs> nothing happened. My... Oh, it's a physiological <laughs> manifestation of my fear. <laughs> fear of vagina. Has he got a bit Wait. of tension for five minutes? Did you That's say... <laughs> Did you say vagina? That's how I like to refer to it now. Why? <laughs> it, just, it just rolls off the tongue. Vagina. Vagina and musk stick. Right, get the musk stick over here. Alright. Oh, it's very musty. Stuart, have you got any other details about this? So it was given to me by an Australian man who said, Can you get this to Paul Gannon? And then he collapsed into dust. <laughs> Australian, they have heard of musk sticks. She has, she knows about musk sticks. So can I try a musk stick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought so loud. They That's taste it. like I'm eating my nan's soap dish. Yeah. And yeah. oh, they've got, I'm saying, the Huffler has got a real uh, palmer violet on it. But I like palmer violet, but this is very much like I'm eating imperial leather. It looks like Play Doh out of the mop top hair shop or something. <laughs> oh. Two conjoined ones. <laughs> Eli. <laughs> Eli. <laughs> dick and balls, Eli. 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 Eli, dick and balls, Eli. Yeah, got it. Dick and balls, Eli. Yeah, got it. My dick dropped off the monkey's face. <laughs> Right, they're basically foam shrimps, aren't they? No, yeah, maybe in texture, but it's like someone's taken nasty cheap icing and put some soap in it. Pass out the musk sticks. Right, I'm going to fuck up the musk sticks. Right, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, it's like if it lands on the floor, you have 30 seconds before you need to eat it. I just hit someone right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> you drop now. Go over there. Go on. Hey. Oh, no, oh God, I'm just throwing people. <laughs> you could have broken them in half and then it's yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Right, quick bite. Um, to put your hand on if you think they're nice. <laughs> no one. Put your hand on if you think they're revolting one, shit. One, one nice over there. One nice revolting oh. shit. Oh. <laughs> I think I'm the only one who's eating no. rice. It's not steaks. You don't want to eat your nose. <laughs> Right, so. Right, see you. Coming. Yeah. Right, no, she's going for a piss. Oh, good. I can't. Only because I want to. No, because I want to go myself. Calm down, everybody. We've only got one and a half sections to go. No, we've got one more. Is there no more cheap eats? No, we've got. What have you got? I've oh, got, I've got, got, yeah. yeah, I've got some. Oh, well. oh, have you got some? Can I do the Fonzies now? Yeah, all right, quickly. Oh. Hang on. Look at that sweat bug on your back! It's like a Rorschach test of misery. Right, right has anyone ever seen these? Fonzies? No. no. 
Yeah. Oh, look, Australian again then. Now these, I believe, are uh, South American, and these are Italian. Are they Italian? You fucking idiot. Now what am I? <laughs> now just if anyone could guess what I'm uh, doing an impression of here. <laughs> is it the Fonz? Jumping the shark, yeah. <laughs> Fonzies. It's, it's, it's one thing I think is hilarious, it's Happy Days jokes. <laughs> no, because Jumping the Shark has a wider cultural meaning now. That's the whole fucking point. Eat the crisps, you fucking bell end. <laughs> I, I hope I really like these, so I can say, I no. give them A. <laughs> yes, eat Fonzie joke, Landy. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Happy days. Happy days. <laughs> now these are what I would call an original knickknack, basically in formation, but with a more subtle cheese flavour. Have a have a go, Paul. Oh, I like these a lot. That's the They are a very knobbly knickknack type snack. Uh, they remind me a little bit of what they're they crunchies. Also, be, that's what they like. They're a bit like what they expect to find in your snack jar. Uh, they're not real. Snack Eli. Snack. Oh, snot jar, you're my best friend. You'll never leave me. Ah, oh, I'll make you into a little lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't like them. I like those. Fonzie? Hey. Fonzie for you. Anyone else? Go on. They're bloody lovely, they are. Who would like a Fonzie? I've still got this damn bloody lollipop! Alright, I'll get a fucking lollipop then! <laughs> <laughs> bastard! <laughs> yeah, bastard! Now, what did you think of the Fonzies, Paul? Um, I thought they were awful shit! Yeah, they're cheese. Really? Oh, dear. yeah. What's the wrong with them? They just, I just not didn't like the cheese, didn't like the texture. Why? You just doing that because you're just trying to get them. No, I just didn't like them all that much. I wouldn't get them. I wouldn't buy them. I don't yeah. see what you're talking yeah, about. What? It's a personal attack on me. Me telling you Fonzies aren't my cup of tea is a personal attack on you. How is that? How does that work? Because you, are you trying to denigrate everything I like? Oh, oh fuck off! Oh. <laughs> Thanks everyone, I'm just, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Dig a hole, you're gonna dig a hole and I'll wank into it. Okay. <laughs> Whilst you're in there. Okay, so we, we want a score from you then, all seriousness. Paul, I please. would give that a uh, two. And from you, Mr. Biffle? I have eaten Fonzies before, apparently, as I've just been informed. <laughs> <laughs> I had a, 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 I don't know, three. Okay, and so would anyone else, does anyone else have any comments about Fonzies? Positive ones, please. <laughs> Seafood. Non, they're non fritty. They're non fried. If you're watching your, your deep fried balls. intake. <laughs> what? If you're watching your fried food intake, they're good for that. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'd give them four. I like them. I don't care. <laughs> I've lost interest in your Fonzies. So, we've got, I've got much time, so we need to get one more food item, so we'll try and get it from the audience. Who's got something? Oh. Oh, Eli. Oh. 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 Alright, I, I know if you've brought food for us, oh fuck it out! <laughs> we'll collect it in the end and we'll use it in another show or future episodes. Oh, I'm getting a half already, mate! <laughs> God, they're strong, man. Oh, oh, Get the. Oh. <laughs> Stand back on the floor, that... you might get wet. <laughs> that is the smell, Paul, that I always oh. thought that I'd go on. <laughs> that is the smell of those. Fake gherkin scratches if knickers. Yeah, Nick's knickers. Hey, I like the old ladies and gentlemen. A little slip of the tongue there, yeah, sorry. So, uh, <laughs> a little slip of the tongue in your yeah. gherkin knickers. Yes. Bye bye! <laughs> Pickle cousin. Dirty knickers from Japan! <laughs> and I say, make sure the little Japanese lady has been eating nothing but dill pickles. <laughs> And I pay through the nose! <laughs> well, eat, eat you, got it, you got it out of me! Yeah, eat them! I lick dirty gherkin knickers! <laughs> right. Have some! Let's try some then fucking get on with this show! Bit of a finale! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yes, give us your flavour and texture! Uh, they're nice, yeah. <laughs> They're a bit more vinegary than I would have expected. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Come on, Paul, they're nice. That's Drop the amplitude. The, the, the amplitude isn't flavor. as good as I would have thought, actually. <laughs> what flavour is it? It's got a dill pickle. Dill pickle, pickle. that's <laughs> fucking not. Well, look, well, look on the stage when you know. <laughs> yeah. Dill pickle. I don't like it. Yeah, my trouble with those is that they are the gherkin flavour, which I like on our... It's overpowered by the vinegariness, isn't it? That and the fact they're Pringles, which I don't like the texture of Pringles. They're like oh. cardboard. You've got a textural problem. Yeah, the amplitude isn't high because they're the it's poking out. The vinegar's poking out a bit too much for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, rate it out of five then. I'd go uh, three and a half. Three and a half out of five. It's not like it's like you haven't yeah, even podcast okay. on the front row, fucking hell. They've got a great smell. The flavour is a bit of a letdown from that because of the okay. vinegariness, I'd say. Anyway, um, look, whilst we're mentioning this, oh, fucking hell. I found these the other day. I know these aren't the cheapest of crisps. These are Piper's Delicious Jalapeno and Dill Crisps. Similar sort of flavour profile. These are the absolute bomb shit. <laughs> Great! <laughs> we, we the bomb the shit! They are the absolute Great. bomb shit. Okay, so, right. so, so what, did you rate them again? I didn't. What do you rate them? Out of five. Yeah, two. Two. Two, two uh, I give it two. Well, you're both insane. They're three and a half if they're born. So, is that the end of that? That's the end of that uh, section. But if we've gone through fours, we'll collect it at the end and we'll use it in future episodes. So, thank you very much. Uh, uh, Bitfo, go sit down, mate. You uh, round of applause for Paul. <laughs> now, we have time for one more some quick section. And tonight, we're going to end by playing. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Yeah. 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 You fucking cunt. 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 You piss drinking, cum gargling, fuck hammer. Stop. You rancid twat. Oh, stop. You sniffy piss. Cum dick, cum bastard, motherfucking, cock gargling, ball murmuring, Silverman sucker. Don't get mad. Ah. Oh, he did a joke! <laughs> so, don't get mad unless you've never heard the podcast before. It's a simple little morality game where Eli will be doing his best to calm his temper in increasingly more stressful situations. <laughs> oh, but it's just weird how the, it seems to have been reversed this day, hasn't it? Well, perhaps you should be the one. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. They've come to see you, mate. Let's right, be honest. I'll do it. So, so here's what we're gonna do. Ash. Ashens and Biffo will be coming on one at a time to play a little scenario out that you will choose and Eli will play the person who tries not to get mad and they'll try and wind him up, alright? So, who wants to be brave? Ash will get you on first yes. the first one. Stand on stage. <laughs> Take a microphone, sir. Yes. Right, uh, I'm going to point at you, give me a one digit number. Ready? You! One. One. And you! Six. So that's 16. What? I'm just... <laughs> Right. Here is here is seven. No, one and six. Seven. No, sixty is a two-digit number. Sixty-one. How many have you got? How many have Honestly, Paul, really? You're gonna blow a gasket, mate. We were meant to be finished fifty minutes ago. I think you're finished, finished, mate. Right. Right. Here is scenario. Here is scenario sixteen. Janet was playing with a basketball when another student took it away from her. Janet felt like punching the student in the face. <laughs> what would should Janet do? So Eli, I'm Janet. You're going to be Janet, and you're going to be the naughty student who stole Janet's ball. All right. Yep. So here's the scene. Are you ready? You'll Hello, begin. Yeah. Um, yeah. Set the scene. Eli's bouncing his ball. I'm Janet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Janet. <laughs> Hello. At your ball. Yeah. <laughs> troubling <love>. shit. <laughs> you had a troubling shit. No, <laughs> oh, no, the, the bowels have been great. The ball looks good. What the fuck are you doing with this hand? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're gonna nick it. I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the oh, 
<laughs> and you were least expecting it. Oh. And now you can't have it back. Oh, can I have it back, please? I said you can't have it back. <laughs> it's just fine. I, but I want the ball because I like valves. Yeah, but... <laughs> Yeah, but I'm gonna hold it. I won't have anything to play with. I'll hold it there. No, you can't have it. It's up there now, look. Well, it's a good thing. It's not a good thing, it's a bad thing. No, 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 it's a good thing. interrupted me. So oh, we'll do that. It's a good thing I shat on that. <laughs> All over it! <laughs> it was a real wet one, I'll rub it in. So we have it, have my ball. Lick my shitty ball. <laughs> if you lower it, it'll kill the ants. <laughs> it's a death point. ball. It's like the bloody death globe of Venus. I don't know if I, I want to give it back to you, I'll be honest with you. It's a death star. I couldn't think of death star. <laughs> <laughs> it is like the death ball of Venus. <laughs> well, it will be quite operational. That's no move. That's the death globe of Venus. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I enjoy your shit eating shitness. Okay, good. Because I've got loads of balls. Right, well that's the end of that scene. Congratulations, Alex. Sit down. Next to play our game is Mr. Stuart Ashen. Please come up on stage and debase yourself for our entertainment. Everyone, please. Right, if I point at you, give me a one digit number. Josh. Five. Five. Uh, you. Two. Two. Fifty-two. Seven. Here we go. It's not bingo, Ash! <laughs> fifty-two, was it, yeah? Legs are level. Fifty-two. Okay. <laughs> Arnold's friend, Ed, refused to share his candy with Arnold. Arnold felt like going home, but what do you think Arnold should do? So you're going to be Arnold, Eli, yeah. and you're going to be the friend, Ed Stewart, who refuses to share his candy with Eli. Okay? Uh, remember, Eli, no matter what happens, don't get mad. Begin the scene. Um, <laughs> I was looking for the musk sticks for a prop. <laughs> Hang on. Close enough. Well, can I have one? Uh, <laughs> what do you want? I'd like one of those. Fuck you! <laughs> Give me that nun. <laughs> <laughs> You're too fat already! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, they even do it when you're in character, don't they? <laughs> well, uh, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not... Give me that nan! <laughs> I'm not concerned about my weight, I would just like one of your sweets, please. You can't have any. Eat your own sweet. I don't have yeah. But I don't have any. Oh, you said poor. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, I've set them off again. <laughs> well, I don't know what, what sweets you would eat like this by shoving it up your nose and making it noise. No, I don't know, it's freaking me out. It's a weirdo. Secretly, he has no sweets either, they just don't oh, want you to know. Oh, I'm Arnold. Oh. <laughs> I was really hoping you'd do a Schwarzenegger voice. <laughs> Can I have some of your sweets? That's going beyond Schwarzenegger. It's a dying gorilla. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, could I have that? Could I, in all seriousness, could I have a sweet, please? No! You're in that none. Should have brought your own. Okay, I, I think I could go home. But, oh, oh, I really do want a sweet. Oh, you know what I could do? Totally diarrhea everywhere! <laughs> and then you won't enjoy the sweets, and no one will enjoy this room ever again! They'll have to tear it down! And then, and I'm okay. squirting! And then, I've got no sense of smell. And then, that's why I'm going to have to shove these up my nose to try and get some semblance of taste. I'm and doing then, a total then, poo -cano. No, I don't care, I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to go up to be a traffic warden. And scene, thank you! And for our final scene today, it is Mr. Paul Rose. Please join us and grab a microphone. Yay. Here we go. Right. You, sir, at the back, give us a number. Two. Two. And you, sir, at the very back, give us a number. 
Five. 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 Don't listen to him. Shut up, Ash. Ash. Make your own choice. What number? Five. Five. Twenty-five. Oh. Twenty-five. Here we go. Oh. Yeah. Here we go. So. 25. Brett was very thirsty, but there was a long line for the drinking fountain. Fountain. <laughs> <laughs> Brett felt like cut going to the front of the queue and cutting, but what should Brett do? So, Eli, you're going to be Brett, and Paul, you're going to be in front of Eli in the queue. Cutting in. Cutting yeah, in. Okay. So that's the scene, all right? So... So he's cutting in. Yeah, and you, you're... Yeah, so don't get mad, all right? Because he's going to try and stop you and tell you off, all right? Ready? What are we queuing for? Water! Water fountain! Because you're thirsty! <laughs> Those noises are very annoying. <laughs> and I read an article saying very intelligent people are more disgusted by the noises of people's mouths. <laughs> So I'm above this. <laughs> you see this? This is open. I'm opening up the water fountain here. See this? It's the canister there. I shat in that. <laughs> You're drinking my slurry. <laughs> Slurry, huh? Like a hungry slurry monster. I'm a demon. <laughs> well, I can't push him. He's already in the front of the queue, Paul. Do some direction on him. I, th I like what he's doing. Uh, <laughs> Stir water fountains for, uh, for um, non racist only. <laughs> I'll shut it. <laughs> So you know when they do uh, This Is Your Life, they give them the book at the end to say yeah. this is your show and everything. God, well, that penis picture's just popped back into my <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not going to do it! I've got Peter. Well, you know they usually give the book out at the end? Yes. Uh, I thought that would be too big for you, so I got a little one instead. Oh. I thought, yeah. Oh. A little This Is Your Life book. I quite like that. Yeah? Oh, I need one. That's my little Mikasa to you. Did I... you get me anything? Yeah, you can have those dill crisps. <laughs> And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this has been episode 100 of Cheap Show!